friends, for this week's media demonstration video, we're going to be using oil pastels and a black colored pencil and some paper towels to finish this drawing of a lionfish. Lionfish are really interesting creatures. Uh, you'll learn all about them during the class. Um, if you aren't participating in my classes, you can also purchase this as a video and learn how to draw this yourself. But today for the media demonstration video, this is really just about talking about the supplies we're gonna use, oil pastels, the black colored pencil, and how using a paper towel really helps a lot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Um, part of this is gonna be in time-lapse, so I'm not gonna you know, do this entire thing in real time. That would take too long, but I'm gonna talk a little bit, and then I'm going to uh, go into time-lapse, then I'll come back and do a conclusion. So that's really how it works. Um, so, <clears throat> the lionfish. He is cool, fun to draw, fun to color. He's got lots of stripes and spots and spikes and all kinds of interesting things that make it really, really interesting and fun to, to draw and color. I want you to make sure when you have your oil pastels, guys, okay, that they're just ready to go. Um, now, this is a new pack. Um, they don't have to be new, as you can, t if you've ever been in my classes before, you know that these art supplies last forever. Um, almost forever. I mean, until they disappear, I should say. Um, there is a little tiny paper wrapper on here that can be recycled. The box is cardboard. The box can be recycled. And the oil pastel literally works until it disappears. So this is a very good product for using. Um, it's very low waste, uh, almost no waste at all. And if you take care of them, they last not forever, but pretty long. Um, also, a black Prismacolor pencil is the pencil I recommend for sure. Um, if you don't have a, a Prismacolor pencil, that's a brand, you can use whatever black pencil you have. But this particular brand, you can buy them at Michael's for about $2. And they are really, really excellent. You only use them for this part, this particular project. Um, and sometimes you can draw with them as well instead of a Sharpie. Um, but it's really worth having one of those just in case. Uh, I'll show you why in a few minutes. Also, I've got a paper towel ready to go. This is another thing, guys. Sometimes my students are like, oh, I don't have what I need. Well, guys, this is the time. Uh, make sure you have what you need so you're ready for class or the video or whatever it is you're gonna do. Get yourself a paper towel, tear it into some nice little chunks and have it ready. Also, get yourself some free draw paper. This is for testing colors, blending colors, testing them out on your paper. Before you do it here, do it here, guys, and that's gonna save a lot. Also, guys, this blue mat, this famous blue mat, um, this mat does a lot of work. It protects the table, and you should have a special spot in your home where you have a mat, and I even taped it onto this table um, so it won't slide around, but it's a great thing, and eventually this mat will need to get recycled, and I'll just put another mat down, but you can always, always um, do things to just make your life a little bit easier, and that way your artwork's going to be a little bit better. All right, guys, uh, we might as well go ahead and get started. So friends, today with the oil pastels, what we're gonna be doing is coloring this guy in and using these paper towels, like I said. So <clears throat> um, the Prismacolor pencil is on standby for now, and I wanna make sure I get my testing paper out. I'm gonna start with the lionfish. Uh, he is the main character, she is. It could be a boy or a girl. Um, and I know in real life that these things are kind of, they can be orangish, they can be sort of brown, brownish, tannish. They can even be shades of purple and green. I mean, really, this is so much fun because you can make it any any color you want. I've done this before as a total rainbow. It's, it's a great, great fish to color. But what I want to show you is I'm going to be doing this kind of in some oranges. And so Crayola makes a great set because look at this, guys, you've got Three kinds of orange right there. That's important to know. You've got multiple yellows. Look at that. Crayola hooks you up. But this is the set of 28 colors, and that is a very important thing. Now, you can get less colors. You can mix them still, but the set of 28, uh, I think, is awesome because look at all these options we've got here. We've also got a tan, and we've got brown, which I don't need right this moment. And I want to make sure that I also have some purple. So, and by the way, they give you three shades of purple, guys. I mean, look at how great this is, right? So they they really do a lot for you. So I recommend this one. Okay, so this is 
The, it's called uh, Red Orange. This is like a classic orange, and this is sort of a, it's called Yellow Orange. It's kind of like a sunset color. And I just want to make sure you can see this. So yes, side by side, they look great together. But when you use your finger and mix them, they look even better. And so your finger is very useful, right? But if you don't want to use your finger, you don't have to. Uh, you can use that paper towel we talked about. And I'm going to show you both right now because I really want people to be on board with this. Uh, the paper towel is so handy. You put it around your finger. And then you rub it with the paper towel and it pretty much does the same thing, right? So, and then it's on the paper towel instead of your finger. Either one works, but sometimes when your fingers get kind of full of oil pastel, um, and it gets a little bit frustrating because then your fingers are, are, you know, it's hard to switch from one color to another. So here I am, I'm working with these yellows, right? I can use my paper towel again. I can go like this. And there's just a lot of really great things you can do. And I hope you will try them. Um, this is what making art is all about. All right, guys. So testing your colors, so important, okay? Orange and purple looks really great side by side, but when you mix it together, it makes like a brown color. Now, if you want that brown color, well, that's up to you. That's fine with me. But if you don't want it to be kind of a brown color, then certain colors look better side by side. Um, and I just wanted to point that out to you. Um, some colors look really great next to each other, but not necessarily mixed together. So that is something else to consider. So here we go. You see how nice the purple looks next to the yellow. And if you don't want this murky color, don't mix them together, okay? So things like that are important. That's why you should test out your colors. Since I've got a good start there, I am going to get going on this lionfish. I'm going to do it in time lapse. It goes really fast, but you don't have to color that fast. It's not what this is all about. This is just to show you um, how you can do it too. And then I hope you'll use that as inspiration to work on your own. All right, guys, here we go. As you can see, I did a few different things on this. Um, I have used up my paper towels as usual, uh, and you should be too. If, you would, if you're not using them up, then you're probably not using them enough. I've got my uh, testing paper here, and uh, I am going to keep on rubbing on this a little bit. So sometimes uh, the colors sort of go together a little bit, uh, meaning like they might, you know, some of your orange might get into your blue, some of your blue might get into your orange, but I uh, personally think that that's a really nice thing. It gives it sort of a nice overall kind of a vibe to it. Like it's a little bit murky, this water. And uh, lionfish are, you know, they're predators. They're they're hunters. They're down there. They're trying to find some prey in the, the murky bottom of the ocean. Uh, and so it's kind of fun. But if you really want it to be a little more crisp, you can just keep on rubbing these things. So for example, I'm rubbing the orange again. You can see that it's gotten a little bit brighter wherever I've rubbed it. Um, you know, artwork is called artwork for a reason. Uh, you are working on it. You are taking a moment, maybe taking a breather, going to get a drink of water, coming back, saying, well, what else can I do to it? And uh, you might say, oh yeah, well, I like that, but I wish it was a little different. And you can adjust it. You can take your pastels, you can adjust it. Um, so a couple things you may notice some areas I did a little bit thicker some areas I did a little bit thinner um, and all areas I'm trying to make sure I've rubbed all the areas today and you might be wondering what do you do with this pencil so 
Sometimes it's just really helpful to make your lines stand out again. So if you are coloring and your Sharpie lines are getting lost underneath all that pastel, you can go ahead and outline again. You can see how those two leaves of the seaweed there stand out more than the others. That's just an example. You can certainly do that with the edges of your lionfish. If at any point you feel like it's just not standing out as much as you want it to, just take a moment and do it slowly. Go over your lines. And when you do that, you're gonna notice how much more it stands out. And so that's one thing you can do with it. You can also, um, for example, I had my name already, but you can also, I'm gonna show you in just a second here. You can also add things that aren't currently there. So for example, back onto the seaweed, I could just add lines like this. See what I'm doing? So those weren't there with my Sharpie, but I wanna add them after the point. So you would never use your Sharpie ever on top of oil pastel. It would really mess up your Sharpie. It would not work right ever again, but you can go right on top of the oil pastel with your black pencil and you can add details that maybe weren't there. You can, so for example, I could make these dots black if I want to, just to show you what I mean. I would never do that with a Sharpie, but I can do it with a black pencil. And anywhere that these lines start to kind of get hazy, you can't see them as clean and crisp as you want, that's when you go over them with a pencil. And they really, really, really look great. So here's an example. The eye looks much better now. All these things are important, guys. So I hope you'll keep on working on this. Uh, your art projects are supposed to be really fun. And you can always uh, do these over and over again. That's another thing. I Some of my students take me up on that. And I'm, they're so happy when they do it. I, I love seeing them do that because... They're like, oh, look, I drew another one. And then they'll say, I drew a third one and a fourth one. And then I gave one to my grandma and I gave one to my teacher and to my neighbor. And there's just, you know, people love artwork and uh, it, they it, the holidays are upon us, guys. So it's a great time of year to do something for someone else. Uh, maybe you have someone in mind that really likes ocean animals. Anyway, so that's it for today, guys. If you don't put your name on the front, and by the way, please put your name in the bottom right or bottom left corner or find a way to incorporate it in your drawing so it's not like, boom, right in this top corner. You know, you, it, some people just write really big right across the top. Please don't do that. But you can put it on the back. It never hurts to put the date on the back and that way you will remember it forever. And also it never hurts to write what it is. So there's my name, the date, and what it is. I'm always going to remember this because it's dated and I know I drew it, but someone in the future might say, oh yeah, Kim did this. Oh look, she did it. Thanksgiving weekend. All right, guys, I am thankful for you. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. I'm looking forward to drawing this this week with all of you and or on the video. Thank you so much. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, and like this video. Help me out, guys. You can share this with your friends. Remember, every little bit counts. If you want an art tub magnet, I'd be happy to mail you one. You just have to let me know. All right, friends. Take care. Bye-bye.